Hello, welcome to Jam 2012 Economist Past Question, question number one. Which question paper type of economies as indicated above is given to you? The question paper type type question option A says type green, option B says type purple, option C says type red, option D says type yellow. The question paper type is usually stated at the top of the question paper given to us. So in this question paper, paper type red is question paper that was given to us. So thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. Jam 2012 Economics Past Question Number 2 says a major disadvantage of socialist economy of a socialist economy is that option A says corruption is rampant option B says consumer sovereignty is lost option C says income inequality is entrenched option D says there is high level of unemployment so socialism, also called centrally planned economy, centrally planned or controlled economic system. Is defined as a type of system in which the means of production and distribution are collectively owned and controlled by the state, that is the government. These advantages include absence of creativity and innovation, absence of competition, it leads to states of monopoly, it reduces individual initiatives, absence of alternative choice, lack of specialization, it, shows, it slows down economic development, it creates room for laziness. So with this, option B is the correct answer which says, consumer sovereignty is lost. Option B is the correct option. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. To jump 2012, economist past question, question number three. The privatization of public enterprises will lead to efficient management of resources in the economy. This statement can best be described as option A says pneumatic reasoning, option B says inductive reasoning, option C says deductive reasoning, option D says positive reasoning. Positive reasoning is the first type of activity in economic science based on theories, based on theories and evidence, based on theories and evidence, where researchers attempt to determine how the world, or at least the economy, works. And at the conclusion are called positive statements. The conclusions are called positive statements. So therefore option D. Is the correct answer. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. Jam 2012, Economics Past Question, question 4. The sign of the slope of the graph in economic analysis is important because it shows whether a good is normal or inferior. 
that is option a b shows the relationship between variables option c option c says reveals the magnitude of the change between variables option d helps to determine the unit of measurement of variables so graph may be defined as a diagram showing a functional relationship between showing a functional relationship between two variables it is used by economists for economic analysis examples of graph include pie charts histogram and bar charts so these are just examples of the result option b as it shows the relationship between variables is the correct answer thank you and please subscribe for more past questions Jam 2011 Economist Ask Question. Question number five. And this question a, 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 pie, a pie chart was drawn. And in that pie chart we have various sectors. Various sectors in this form. And here we have oil sector. Oil sector was on 160 degrees. And here we have agriculture on 90 degrees. Agri sector on 90 degrees. And here we have mining sector on 30 degrees. And here we have manufacturing so if the action of the percentage contribution of agriculture percentage contribution of agriculture if you add up everything here you're going to have cycle is 360 so agriculture is 90 over 360 times 100 since we are dealing with percentage this will give us 25.0 percent so option d is the correct answer thank you and please subscribe for more past questions So, it now is past question, question number six. We're given a cycle in this form. A cycle in this form. This as we have in question six. And here we have agriculture sector. We have which is 90 degree. We have the mining sector, which is 30 degree. We have the manufacturing sector, which is not given. We have 160 degrees for oil sector. So they're asking us if the GDP is 60 billion naira, what is the difference between the contributions of oil and manufacturing sector? So we have to do for the manufacturing sector. 
a cycle is 360. So 360 minus the 160 degrees for oil plus 90 degrees for agriculture plus the 30 degrees for for mining. The 360 minus the addition of these three items will give us 80 degrees. This 80 degree is for manufacturing, manufacturing sector. So the contributions between oil and manufacturing sector will be for oil, oil, oil sector, it will be 160 over 360 times 60 billion. 60 billion over one which is equals to 26.6 billion naira for for manufacturing it will be 80 over 360 times 60 billion over one, which is equal to 13 point 3 billion. So therefore, difference, difference is equal to 36.6 billion minus 13.3 billion will give us 13.3 billion naira. Option D, option B is the correct answer. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. Twenty twelve past question economics question number seven if the quantity of rice brought but decreases from two fifty tons to two hundred tons owing to a two percent rise in price it shows that there is a change option A says consumer income option B says demand Option C says consumer's taste. Option D says quantity demanded. Now, a slight change. A slight change in demand. A slight change in price of rice will result to a change in quantity demanded of rice. So option D is the correct answer. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. To jump 2012 economics past question, question 8. A rise in income with solitaires for Bring about Option A says a movement along the demand curve. Option B says a leftward shift of the demand curve. Option C says a rightward shift of the demand curve. Option D says no effect on the demand curve. When there is an increase in demand, the demand curve shifts to the right, indicating at the old price more of the commodity will be purchased. For example, if the income of the consumers increases, more of the commodity is likely to be purchased at the old price. Rightward shifts increase demand. Thus, option C is the right answer. Thank you. And please subscribe for the 
for more past questions. Jam Economics 2012 past question, question number nine. We have a curve, a graph given to us price and quantity 50, 70 for price and 500, 400 for quantity. They say from the table above, calculate the price elasticity of demand. Price elasticity of demand is equal to change, percentage change in price over percentage change percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in price which is equals to to get it percentage change in quantity demanded we have to say it's equals to 500 minus 400 which is over 500 so which is equals to 100 over 500 times 100 over 1 this is equals to 20 percent that is to say that we have change in quantity change in quantity demanded over old quantity demanded times 100 over 1 now to do for percentage change percentage change in price which is going to be equals to change in price over old price times 100 over 1 which is equals to 70 minus 50 minus 50 over 50 times 100 over 1 which is equals to 20 over 50 times 100 over 1 which is equals to 40 percent so therefore price elasticity of demand is equals to 20 percent over 40 percent times 100 over 1 which is equals to 0 0.5 option D the correct answer thank you and please subscribe for more past questions to jump 2012 economics past question number 10 if the price of an item increases by eight percent increases by eight percent why the quantity demanded falls from one thousand five hundred units to the demand is said to be option a says perfectly elastic b said inelastic c said elastic d said perfectly inelastic Demand is said to be inelastic if a larger, a larger change in price leads to a slight or small change in quantity demanded of that product. In this case, elasticity is said to be greater than zero but less than one is also called fairly inelastic in demand 
So option B is the correct answer. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. Economics past question, question number 11. It says comparison of interpersonal utility is possible because option A says Option A says utility is measured in utens. Utility is measured in utens. Option B says marginal utility is not observable. Option C says utility is subjectively determined. Option D says individual income differs. So uh, the comparison of individual of interpersonal uh, utility is possible because utility depends on incomes of individuals so option d is the correct answer thank you and please subscribe for more past questions the jam 2012 economics past question number 12 when the slope of total utility curve is declining the marginal utility of a consumer will be increasing now total utility curve that refers to the total amount of satisfaction a consumer derives from the consumption of a commodity at a particular time as a consumer uses more and more of a commodity its utility increases until it gets to a point it gets to a maximum point so option c which says increases the quantity consumed is the correct answer thank you and please subscribe for more past questions jam 2012 economics past question number 13 we are giving a diagram like this. Cutting from this angle. This angle. This is point M. This is point P. This is O. This is X. This is Y. This is N. This is point K. And we're at the consumer is at equilibrium at what point? The consumer is at equilibrium at point K. This is the equilibrium point. So therefore, option D is the correct answer. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. Economics past question, question number 14. You give us a diagram like this again. So we have point P, point K, point N, and point M. This is zero, this is Y, and this is X. And the question says, to move from point K, point M, to point K, the consumer has to, the consumer has to increase the consumption of X and, the, 
and reduce the consumption of Y. That's option A. B, the consumer has to increase expenditure on Y. C, expenditure on X. D, consumption on Y and reduce consumption of X. For the consumer to move from point A, from point M to K, the consumer has to increase the expenditure on X. So, option C is the right answer. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. Economics past question number 15. The supply of cocoa is influenced by option A says seasonal condition, B says the efficacy of fertilizer use, C said the demand for beverages, D said the availability of closed substitutes. Now, the factors affecting supply are as follows we have price, we have price of other commodities. We have taxation. We have number of producers. Number of producers. We have government policy. We have cost of production. We have weather. Weather. We have level of technology. And we have natural disaster. Natural disaster. So, so these are factors that affect the supply of cocoa of a commodity. So based on this, the, the demand for beverages is the factor that is the, the supply of cocoa is influenced by the demand for beverages. So option C is the right option. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. I'm 2012 economics past question question number 16 if quantity supplied is constant irrespective of price changes the supply elasticity is option a says unitary b says infinity infinite c says fairly elastic and this said uh, perfectly elastic Supply is said supply is said to be perfectly elastic inelastic if a change in price has no effect whatsoever on the quantity have no effect on the quantity of goods supplied. In this situation, elasticity is said to be elasticity is said to be equal to zero. Zero. So where well, this is equal to zero, it is said to be perfectly inelastic. So option D is the correct answer. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. Twenty twelve economics past question seventeen. The cost elasticity of supply is a useful instrument for measuring option A says profits, B says productivity, C says national income, D says price index. Price elasticity of supply may be defined as the degree of responsiveness of supply to a little change in the price of a commodity. It measures the relationship between price and quantity, between price and quantity of goods supplied by the producer due to changes, due to changes, thus option B. The right answer, which talks about productivity. Thank you, and please subscribe for more past questions.
to jam 2012 economics pass question question 18 the invisible hand promotes the interest of option a says the consumer b says society c said government d says producers the invisible hands promotes the interest of the consumer because the consumer is seen to be the king since the consumer has the right of choice so option a is the right answer thank you and please subscribe for more past questions fixing price above equilibrium will cause Option A says demand and supply to remain constant. B says an increase in quantity supply. C says an increase in supply. D says a decrease in quantity supply. When the price when the prevailing market price of a commodity is higher than the equilibrium price, the supply will definitely be higher than the demand. And the market will experience Excess supply resulting to a situation, resulting in a situation which represents surplus. So option C is the right answer. Increase in supply. Thank you, and please subscribe for more past questions. to jump 2012 economist past question question number 21 if all factors are variable in the long run firms will experience option a says decreasing returns to scale option b says increasing returns to scale option c says diminishing returns and option d says economics of scale firms will experience increasing returns to scale so option b 
is the right answer. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. To jam 2012 economics past question number 22. The equilibrium point of a firm is attained at the point where the issue quant is option A says where the issue quant is greater than issue cost, less option B said less than the issue cost, C said tangent to the issue cost, D says greater than the output. Now it involves a tangency. It involves a tangency point. A tangency point. A tangency point between the issue quants. Issue quants. And issue cost. Okay, that this is because at a at point Q, iso cost line is tangent to iso cost curve. A series of iso quants, higher iso quants shows higher level of output. Hence, the producer will be in equilibrium where the iso cost line is tangent to the iso cost where the iso cost line is tangent to the iso quant so correct answer is option c tangent to iso cost thank you and please subscribe for more past questions Jam 2012 economics past question question 23. The long run average cost curve pushes to the short run average cost curves at option A says the minimum point of all short run average cost curves, B declining points of all short run average cost curves. C minimum point of all of only one of the short run cost curves. D rising point of all short run average costs. The long run average cost curve touches to the short run average cost curve at the rising point of all short run cost curves. So option D is the right answer. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. I'm to his wife economics past question question twenty four. If a firm doubles all inputs in the long run and total and the total output is less than doubled this results in option a says diminishing returns option b says constant return to scale constant return to scale option c says increasing returns to scale option d says decreasing returns to scale if a firm doubles all inputs in the long run and the total output is less than doubled, this results in constant returns to scale. So option B is the right answer. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions.
Jam 2012, Economist Past Question, Question Number 25. Patents and copyrights enable monopolists to, option A says, to determine the quality of their products. Option B says, to determine the sale of their products. Option C says, restrict information flow to new firms. Option D says, restrict entry of new firms. The patent and copyright enable monopolists to restrict entry of new firms. So option D is the right option. Thank you. Please subscribe for more past questions. Jam 2012, Economist Pass Question, Question 26. A discriminatory monopoly is characterized by Option A says a common elasticity in different markets, B, different elasticities in different markets, C, a finite elasticity in all markets, D, zero elasticity in all markets. It's a single entry. A discriminatory monopoly is a single entry. It's a single entity that changes different prices. Typically, those that are not associated with the cost to produce, to provide the products or services for different consumers. By catering to each type of customers, the monopoly makes more profit. So option D, we say zero elasticity in all markets is the correct answer. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. Jam 2012, economist past question, question number 27. It says the net, net national product is derived by deducting option A says net exports from GMP. GMP is gross national product. B says subsidies from GDP. GDP is gross domestic products. C said taxes from GDP and D says depreciation from GNP. Now, the net national products the net national product NNP is derived from derived from GMP GMP minus depreciation. Is a gross national product less estimated the estimated amount of depreciation or capital consumed during the year? So option D is the right answer. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. Twelve economics past question question number twenty eight. Use the information below to answer questions twenty eight. The investment expenditure of an economy changes by changes by two million naira. 
2 million naira and MPC is 0 0.5. Now, our MPC, which is marginal propensity to consume, which is marginal propensity to consume. This equals to changes in consumption over changes in income. Change in consumption over change in income. So MPC is equal to to get our change in income. Our change in income is equal to two million naira times zero point seven five, which is equals to one point five million. Option B the right answer thank you and please subscribe for more past questions come to jam 2012 economics past question number 29 so we use the following the information below to answer questions 29 Investment expenditure of an economy changes by 2 million naira and MPC is 0 0.75. The question now says the multiplier is what? So if you're looking at the multiplier, multiplier is denoted, is denoted by K, which is equal to investment over 1 minus MPC, which is equal to 1 over MPS and our MPS is called marginal propensity to save. Now our K is multiplier MPC is marginal propensity to consume so an I is investment so therefore over 1 minus MPC is equals to 1 over 1 minus 0 0.75 which is equals to 1 over 1 minus 0 0.75 is 0 0.25 so zero, 1 divided by 0 0.25 is giving us 4, which is option B. So B is the right answer. Please thank you and subscribe for more past questions. Jam 2012 economics past question question 30. The money that commands a higher market value than its face value is called option A says paper money, B says standard money, C says commodity money, D says fiat money. Token money also referred to as standard money. Token money. also referred to as standard money is a form of money with a face value form of money with a face value a form of money with a face value of the face value which is greater than the value of the metal content 
of the Mensa content. It has a face value in excess of its it has a face value in excess of its meta content. That is the intrinsic value. The intrinsic value is less than the face value. So option B, which is standard money, becomes the right answer. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. To jump 2012 economics past question number 31. If a mark basket of commodities cost 120 naira in the base year, and 240 naira in the current year. Calculate the price index. Option A says the price index is 100, B says 200, C says 240, and option D says 300. Now, price index PI is equals to price in the current year in the current year over price in the previous year times 100 over 1 so which is equals to 240 over 120 times 100 over 1 which is equals to the price index is 200 option B is the correct answer please thank you and subscribe for more past questions Twelve economics past question question number thirty two. The minimum amount which banks are required to deposit with the central bank is determined by option A says the liquidity ratio, B says the cash reserve ratio, C said minimum lending rate, D said aggregate selling credit aggregate credit selling. Special deposits. Special deposits. It's also known. It's also an instrument of monetary policy, which is used to restrict lending. This is intended to control credit, and is often used during the period of inflation to reduce cash with banks. The central banks, central bank will mad mandate the commercial banks to keep special deposits over the statutory requirements. So, option C, which is the minimum lending rates, is the right answer. Thank you, and please subscribe for more past questions. To have economics past question, question number 13. The major function of the money market is to option A says to provide funds for long term financing, provide funds for short term financing, stabilize the value of the local currency, stabilize domestic prices. 
the following are the functions of the money market. They are as follows to invest profitably, to finance industry, to finance trades, to enhance commercial banks, self sufficiency, to lubricate, lubricate central bank policies. So, option B is right option. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. Past question number 34. An ad volume tax is imposed on an ad volume tax is another form of indirect tax imposed on commodities in accordance with their respective values and at a specific percentages. Luxury goods. Luxury goods attract higher percentages. Attract higher percentages of tax. Of tax than essential goods. Than essential goods. So, an development tax is imposed on special commodities. So, option A is the right answer. Thank you, and please subscribe for more past questions. Jam 2012 Economics Pass Question number 35. A huge national debt is an indication that the gold reserves of a nation has option A says appreciated, B said decreased, C said depreciated, D said stagnated. A huge national debt can affect the economy of a country in the following ways. One way is the servicing of an external debt will involve an outflow of resources which can otherwise be used for economic development. Two, it can reduce the availability of foreign exchange in the form of depleted foreign reserves. Three, the servicing of a large internal debt will limit government's ability to provide social capital and services for the people. Four, a large domestic debt will influence the distribution of income in the country. Five, if a large internal debt is sustained by a high rate of interest, it will reduce private investment on capital goods. A large external debt can make a country to be su susceptible, susceptible to the whims and caprice of external creditors. So, a huge national debt is an indication that the gold reserves of a country has decreased. So, option B is the right answer. Thank you, and please subscribe for more past questions. Twenty twelve economic past question number thirty six. Rapid economic development in Nigeria is realizable by encouragement of savings, encouragement of investment, political stability establishment of educational institutions, provision of capital, population control, availability of organized markets. 
diversification of the economy, able leadership, provision of infrastructural facilities, promotion of industrialization, export promotion, technological development, training of manpower, and prudent financial resources, man resource management. So, from this, option D, which says diversifying the economy is the right option. Thank you, and please subscribe for more past questions. Twenty twelve economics past question number thirty seven. The primary reason for desiring economic growth is option A says to control inflation, B says to reduce poverty, C to reduce redistribute to redistribute income, D to raise standard of living. When there is a, when there is economic growth it shows in the form of an increase in income level, an expansion in labor markets, labor force, an increase in the total capital stock of the country, and a higher volume of trade and consumption. So option C, which says redistributes income, is the primary reason for, economic, for desiring economic growth. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. Twenty twelve economic past question question thirty eight. An imagined agricultural export crop in Nigeria is cocoa option C. Thank you, and please subscribe for more past questions. Twenty twelve economics past question question number thirty nine. A strategy for improving agriculture in Nigeria will involve option A says controlling the prices of agricultural products, ensuring so self-sufficiency in food production, option C says establishing commodity boards, option D says reducing agricultural products. A strategy for improving agriculture in Nigeria will involve ensuring self-sufficiency in food production option b is the right option thank you and please subscribe for more past questions twenty twelve economics past question question number fourteen a sugar industry is best located near the source of option A says labor, B says raw materials, C said power, D said capital. A sugar industry, the following factors influences the location of industry. They include proximity to source of raw materials, availability of capital, political stability, external economies, or the location of other firms, nearness to the market, availability of labor, nearness to source of power, favorable climate, adequate transport network, government policies. Option B, which is near to the source of raw materials. Thank you, and please subscribe for more past questions. Exam 2012 economics past question question number 41 and 
an important contribution of small scale industries to the Nigerian economy. This is the area of option A says technological development, option B says foreign exchange earnings, option C says raw materials processing, option D says labor employment. The right option is in the area of labor employment. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions.
net, 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 our net migration is 10 minus 5, which is equal to 5. So we're going to have total population is equal to 50 plus 5 minus 25, which is death, number of deaths. This will give us. That's it. Semi 
Holy Spirit. Semi finished books. So the reward for capital is interest. So option B. The right option. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions. Diagram, this is the diagram given to us. In the diagram we have a curve like this and we have a curve like this. And we have this curve cutting like this. And this is the view, which is our wage size, and this is our labor size. In this diagram, this is our X. Our X and this is our D and D. And we're, we're asked the minimum wage OR OW will lead to the, when the demand for labor equals supply, wage rates will be preferable to both the employer and the employee. So it will lead to full employment of resources. Option A is the right answer. Thank you and please subscribe for more past questions.